Hey guys, Alex here, back with another day of dialogue, and happy holidays. Today I'm going to be talking about the complex diet of tree frogs and how to treat them right this Christmas. Now you guys may have noticed that Dave's cage has yet again moved. Um, winter's actually pretty cold this year, so uh, having him right next to the windows, uh, it was not working out. It was just getting too cold. And uh, even though we had heat lamps for night and day, it was just it was just kind of chilly. I mean, Yulia can handle it. She's She's winterproofed and ready. I got the shutters all closed out there and everything, so she's all she's all good. But I wanted to make sure that Dave didn't get a frostbite or some weird uh, hypothermia disease. So I decided to move him over to this corner of the room where the windows aren't at, just in case. And we installed a new heat lamp, which is now a little bit higher wattage. Anyways, uh, so today we're going to be talking about that, uh, that diet of tree frogs. And uh, if you guys really want to know, what you gotta feed your frogs. Just buy some crickets. That's all. Alright, thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed. See you around. Alright, but joking aside, there are some actual things that you have to consider when you're feeding your tree frog. So, I'm gonna go into that a little bit today. It isn't too complex. I mean, these guys are pretty much the easiest um, amphibian that you could uh, take care of. They're very beginner level, so their diets are also pretty simple. So like I said, crickets are a great way to start feeding your amphibian. Um, they're very easy to take care of, very low maintenance, very cheap. Um, they come in a lot of different sizes. Really the only thing you have to do to take care of your crickets are find an empty container, put some mulch in there, some empty egg cartons, uh, some fruits and vegetables, or if you're really fancy, cricket food that you can buy at Petco. And uh, that's, that's a great way to start. You can also feed them a variety of worms like wax worms and mealworms, super worms and stuff like that when they get a little bit bigger. So you do have some options for feeding your frog and it's good to know what all of them entail when you are purchasing them. But anyways, what you've got to consider next is the size and the amount you're going to feed your um, amphibian. Now what I do for Dave is I feed him two to three medium sized crickets every night, but he's an adult. When you have a, a yearling or a baby, you have to um, change the size, change the amount you feed them. Now, there are different sizes of crickets, believe it or not, uh, at least at Petco. <laughs> um, you should probably get some small ones or the even like baby ones, like the really micro ones, which are a little harder to contain just because they are so small. And throw in, I'd say, one or two a night if you've got a smaller um, amphibian but do know that they are growing so it depends on how much they're eating if they're clearing out their crickets every single night then maybe you should add in a couple more it's the same thing sort of with Yulia's salad when I notice that she eats it completely one day I'll make sure to add in a little bit the next day so mealworms can also make a pretty decent meal they're pretty nutritious um, but they don't have that great of a tank life compared to crickets uh, they like to wiggle around and burrow you know they're worms so unless you'd like them living around in your cage for a while. Uh, I wouldn't recommend putting them in. A lot of people use bowls or tweezers to hand feed their frog, which both seem like pretty decent ideas to me. Um, I'd probably feed my adults two to three mealworms every night, and uh, babies only one. I've heard they can leave pretty nasty bites and even lead to impaction because of their uh, exoskeletons. Just keep that in mind. There are a plethora of other worms, such as wax worms, super worms, and other worms that I could get into here, but I'm not going to since those are pretty, um, pretty much the same as uh, mealworms. Nutritionally, and um, the way they live, and the way you feed them to your frog. So if you want more information on those, a quick Google search will help you out. But uh, yeah, I won't go over those just because I don't want this video to be like 10 minutes long. I'm not that interested in ad rev, guys. Come on, I haven't sold out yet. <laughs> now on to the final topic, which is calcium. Um, personally, I give them two calcium crickets every probably once a month, whenever I remember to, you give them, so. It's a very beginner pet, very beginner diet. Don't worry about it too much. Don't stress about it too much. They're gonna eat pretty much anything you give them. You could give them like a piece of your shoe and they'd probably still be satisfied for the night, so. Anyways, uh, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. See you around.